easy and simple way to remember pulmonary hypertension classes. Now remember that pulmonary hypertension is an elevation in the blood pressure within the pulmonary vessels. Now depending on what the source of this elevation in the blood pressure is, I would classify it from class 1 to class 5. Now if I tell you that, if, that the source of this elevation in the blood pressure is within the pulmonary vessels themselves, so you didn't really have to travel to any other distant organ, but relies within the core of the problem, within the pulmonary vessels, not surprisingly you would give that class class number one and you would call it pulmonary arterial hypertension. And also, if you would draw an artery or a vessel, you probably would draw it in the shape of number one. The second class is if the source is in the left heart in patients with left heart disease. How do I remember this? Remember, the heart has two ventricles, two atria, and two electric nodes. So not surprisingly, I would classify that as class number two. And also, if you draw the number two and a mirror of number two right beside it, it would look like a heart. Now, class three is if the source of the pulmonary hypertension is a hypoxic lung disease. How do I remember this? In uh, class number three is if the problem in the respiratory tree. Class three, problem in the respiratory tree. It rhymes well. Now, class four is if you have a clot within the lung vasculature and clot, that clot over a long period of time will eventually lead to pulmonary hypertension and it will lead to something called CTIF, chronic thromboembolism pulmonary hypertension. How do I remember this? The word clot has four letters in it, so I would classify that as class number four. And class number five is all the other causes of pulmonary hypertension that does not really fit any of those other classes from one to four. That is it. Hope that was helpful. If you want to learn more about pulmonary hypertension, check out the link below. Thank you.